Hello, it's Joe Glines, and uh, in this video here, we're going to walk through using the Yelp um, API. And in this example, it's actually OAuth 2. Um, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm actually going to show you guys my uh, initial ID and secret. I'll go change them after the, the, the video. But um, normally, I'm storing these in any file and reading them in, so I don't have to worry about that. But I, I wanted to walk you through because OAuth 2 is often, I'd say, much trickier than OAuth 1. In this case, it's it's not nearly as terrible as uh, as some of them are, um, and and honestly, the better programming are. They're not that hard. It's just getting through the flow and, and doing some of the stuff. So, let's get cracking here. Um, first off, this uh, this web page. Let me bring it over here. Um, it walks through how you the, the general process of authentication. Right? They give you your secret and token, and then you provide that to them, and it, it's going to return back. Um, um, as um, your after your handshake, where you send them your secret and token, they're going to return back this um, another token that is, uh, as you'll see, it's, it's it'll be a bearer token that you provide in your next call. But it's it's kind of comical how long and um, uh, unique it is. So here are my um, ID and secret, and, and this is the endpoint I'm going to connect to, and. Then in that page I was showing you, they, they also tell you here, you know, you, you set your grant type to equal client credentials, you set client ID to be your ID, that's my ID, and your client secret to be your secret, right? So I'm passing this through as variables. This is my query string function. Um, so that is that function. Um, I'm trying to remember to include that in all of them. So uh, it just helps build that unique string. So when I do this, I'm going to save this, reload it. Oh, 77. All right, I got some stuff down here. I must have. Oh, look, I had already put it in here. Silly me. Uh, you know what? I'd rather have it down there uh, when we're done. So let me get rid of that. All right. Reload, launch. Now this is my access token. And for the next, I don't remember how long they're actually good for. I think it's it's like an hour. Um, it, it tells me here, which I can't read that, I don't know, but um, the, the type and this and that, but I have to grab this crazy long string. And so, notice here, I first copied it to the clipboard and then I showed it, but um, this is this is the general process I do when I get this, is I say, okay, it's time for, um, now that was the, uh, that was the actual code, right, but what I'm going to do is say, data equals that, and be, see that has quotes in here, that makes it tricky, but if you, an auto hotkey, if you just put an equal here, it um, starts evaluating it um, as an expression, and you don't have to manage those quotes. And what we're going to do, I could do two things, is, is that was in JSON format, and I could just use my JSON object and, and grab it, but um, often it's, it, well, yeah, yeah, that's probably not a bad approach, but in this example, I wanted to do a regular expression. And so, what I'm going to do is start working through um, how I would parse that. I already did a little bit of cheating here, so so I, I have some of it. But um, I wanted to show you guys the uh, fun of regex, but also it is um, how you can often do it. So I'm going to do a regex max. So I'm going to match on the data. That's going to be my variable. And then you begin your um, regex with a, a quote. And actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it here and... And so inside here is going to be my needle. That was my haystack. This is my needle. And this is going to be what I'm going to put it into. And I'm going to say token and end of that. And so now that's that's actually my regex call. And here I'm going to put a message box token. And um, the way regex match works is it'll put, put the first match into your token appending the number. And so that's going to be a 1. And here I'm going to demonstrate this. Oops. So that's going to match everything. So if I did everything right when I do this, and then clearly I didn't do something right. Um, what did I do wrong? That that looks right. Du, du, du. Token, token one. Now let me... I'm pretty darn sure. Oh. Oh, because it, it, it's the full thing. Um, I, th I think, because maybe... Oh, oh, I see. I'm sorry. So if I had put in... Um, and maybe it's the parens, because the parens will start getting my subgroups. And so now, this I think, that's the one. Okay, my bad. Um, you can see I haven't played with regex a lot lately. I do have, um, I don't know, about eight tutorials on regex. So now what I'll do is I'll say, okay, here's... Um, I'm going to start with 
everything, and then I'm going to have it get when it finds access token, because that's going to be unique. Now, see that double quote up there? Um, you can do some interesting regex uh, escapes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 22. That is the, um, what is that? The I don't know if it's the ASCII um, number of it, but what, but uh, Maestrieth was helping with this one time and, and pointed out that I can pass this, and that is basically going to say when you find this, right? So now we're there, and then we're going to have a, a colon, and then a white space, and so now it's going to get everything. It's going to truncate, actually let's run it without that. It should remove the access token quote. It should remove, you know what, actually I want another one up there, don't I? So let me borrow from this. There. Now, because this is to the left of my pattern, um, it should it should only grab what's here over, and of course it's going to have stuff at the end, which is fine for now. So notice here there's a C, K, K, P, okay, that's fine. Um, but I need to get rid of this other, um, I need to get to the last double, the, the next double quote, basically. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow from here, and put here, and then put a, I don't know if I need to do star at all, but um, now when I do this, it is still, it didn't grab it, right? The problem is, this is a this asterisk here is greedy, and so we need to tell it to look for the first one. There we go. So now I have my token um, uniquely, not uniquely, um, specifically grabbed with just, and I can look, and this is what I do. So so y x, I think y x great, and what did it begin with c k k p? Yeah, that looks good. Um, just because I'm finicky um, and I like naming things, I don't like having token one. It, it's just me. It's it's nothing major. But um, I'm going to change this. I'm going to say Yelp underscore token. And here, I'm going to change this to say Yelp. And I'm going to add, I'm going to create a named expression here. And that, you start with a question mark to greater than less than. And here, oh, and I forgot, um, here I want to put underscore. So now, hopefully, there we go. So my this is my variable Yelp token, which just to me is better than having the one there. Um, Again, not a big deal. But now I have a regex that I can throw against, so I'm going to put that down here, and I'm going to change this one. You know, I always like to um, keep my stuff backed up in case I really screw up. And and then I'm going to actually, you know what? Let me uh, Yelp token. Notice how it's offering those up. That, that was a, a function I found the other day for site that you can uh, you can have it read um, your saved data file and, uh, and look offer up things that are actually in your file which is to me just amazing because I suck at typing all right so now theoretically when I run this it's gonna have a different token right because I'm, I'm providing my credentials again I'm saying hey give me a token unless Yelp is smart enough to know the other one I have out there right now is still valid it could it could possibly give me this same one um, but I, I don't think it's going to do that. So let me save this, reload it, launch. Oh, nope, that looks like it's the same one. But, um, yeah, I did comment that out. It's, I think it's doing that because I'm within the time frame of whatever that was, right? After a certain amount of time, that's going to expire, and then it will provide me a new one. This is probably the way for them to, to not do nearly as many um, different tokens. So now... This is my authentication token. I need to, that was the, f the first part of the handshake, by the way. So I provided my stuff to it. I gave it to it. It passed back this token. Now this token is what I include in my queries going forward. So now I have it saved in that. I'm going to comment that out. And I'm going to bring up the rest of this because it's going to be a part of my flow. Um, and now... It looks like at some point here I had some other, you know what, I don't need, I hadn't adopted this to the, the way I've been doing things, but this is my endpoint, this URL, ooh, hey. So that is my endpoint, and I need to make sure that I now put that, so, so I'm going to, um, append 
to my endpoint the query string. All of this is, is documented in other stuff I've done. Um, oh, I see it. And, and this was what I was doing before where I was building it this way. But um, now I'm using this function that I mentioned earlier to pass parameters. And so here, categories is chicken wings. Um, that's all built into my query string. Let me comment that out. I'll, I'll delete some of this uh, extra stuff here in a bit. Um, but the question is, oh, oh, here's my authentication token, right? This is where, notice I don't have my my initial ID and secret, right? But I'm passing below I when I had botched it together by just hard coding stuff and copying the clipboard and then I would paste it and I'd put it in there um, and I saved it somewhere. Um, it looks like I, maybe I, oh, here it was. I had saved it as a you know value. I didn't bother creating a regular expression. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's see. CKKP. Wow, is that still the same one? Because that is interesting. Maybe they're good for for quite a while. Um, I don't know why that was still the same one. Interesting. It, it must last for a while because I don't remember when I did this. Um, it it wasn't within the last couple of days, so maybe they last for a while. Regardless, all right, this Yelp token um, is what we have it stored in, and that is where we are going to pass it through here. And um, and actually now, because I know that that all stays the same, I don't, um, well, I do because I'm, I'm parsing it. I didn't save it. But um, let's go ahead, and it's going to do two API calls, right? It's going to do the first one and then parse it just like we did, but we already know it looks like it's going to return the same token. And then... We are going to, did I build this all right? It looks like that's my query string. That looks like it's probably right. Um, send, response, site output. I don't actually need this. And it looks like I don't have anything beneath all of that. All right, so now, save, reload, launch. That first part is not going to show anything, right? Because uh, I don't have it displaying it. Now, here is the actual data that was returned. Um, and that's pretty ugly. What is that? Um, JSON format. So let's let's run that through my uh, well not mine but the function I use for the uh, parse JSON it's to pretty it up. Um, I don't, I, I'm going to keep it going into my site output window. So response data, and I'm going to move this to here and. All I did was add that, and we need to, so from the API call, it is going to return um, that data, store it here. I'm going to take that JSON and run it through this format JSON function and basically save it in the same variable, and then I'm going to display that in my site window. And uh, let's go ahead and save it, reload, and run. And here we go. So that's the same data, it's just beautified a bit so it's a little easier to read. Um, it looks like, oh, look at this. So they have chicken wings, apparently. Um, and where was that? Helen's Hot Kitchen. Interesting. Uh, Cajun Creole. Oh, that sounds good. Crab Station? Man, I never heard of it. Anyway, so so that was how we went through that. Let's let's go. So so clearly I had borrowed these. I wanted, I think, to have them as an example. Let me comment out that, that, and that. And actually, that I don't think I need. So I just reran it. Yep, still returned. So just to simplify it, so we're not overwhelming anybody, I'm going to get rid of some other stuff. Now, clearly, I still need my bearer token, right? That's my authentication or authorization, depending how you want to say it. Um, so that is my second. Um, So this is my API call with the credentials, and where I'm passing it these things. And let me let me clean up this mess up here. So we don't need that. This one I do need. Um, by the way, here is where I found this somewhere. I actually found a different couple different spots on their site, and uh, it was confusing at first. So this is a list. You can scroll through it and find the different um, things that you can search for. The the different. Um, so parents, where shopping, education. So under parents is are these different things, right? Um, but it's the structure of the things. Like if I look for chicken wings, so this is the chicken wings one. It's under restaurants, 
It also applies to different countries, um, and it'll tell you what they do and don't apply to. So this was the one. I th let me see if I had saved. Here we go. No, that looks like that's the same one, which, of course, doesn't help at all. I must have just duplicated the line. Um, in here, I don't actually need this, because that is in my... Um, it's down here. In categories, I send chicken wings. Uh, da -da, all category list. Oh, interesting. Let me see if this is just the same thing. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, there it goes. Here we go. So so this is another way you can look at the same data. It's just not... The other one, of course, programmatically, you can iterate over it and grab what you want. This one is uh, a little bit, I think, more on the human-friendly side, but it's uh, obviously a little trickier. Uh, to, you're not going to parse it, right? But you can go through and read it and see what you want. So uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave that there just as a reference. Um, the endpoint we already discussed. So I can get rid of this, this, yeah, I'll leave that other stuff, because this one we're doing the, the, um, the business search, but there were, you know what, I've, oh, that's the documentation, the business search, that's fine. Uh, but they have other, they have reviews, you have other things you can go search. Um, and this was my regular expression to go grab it, so let me add up in here. So just kind of, I, I do like to try to annotate things and let people know what I'm doing. Um, again, I'll go, you need to create your own ID and um, get your secret token. I'm going to go delete, um, uh, get request new ones, so these won't be the, the same for you. Um, this was just my play to get that regex, and so now, let's see, yeah, we'll leave that there, it's relevant. Um, this, is, this is the actual work you would do to to do the API call to go back and get that stuff. Hope that helps. Thanks.